The weekly starts now. So today we're going to talk about countertops, specifically how to find affordable countertops. Now, finding attractive and durable countertops is easy when you have the money, but things get tricky when the budget is tight. So if the budget permits, there's a wide range of options. You have quartz, you have marble, granite, soapstone, volcanic stone, exotic hardwoods, quartzite, and the new category, ultra compact surfacing. And in most cases, there's a direct correlation between the durability of the countertop and the price. But for some pros and their clients, it's important to balance cost with durability. Now, there are affordable options such as ceramic tiles and laminate, but they tend to have maintenance issues or practicality issues, or sometimes consumers simply just don't like the look. So the challenge is to find one of the desirable materials at an affordable price. Well, I talked to some architects and designers and they had some ideas on how pros can achieve this. The first tip they gave me was that builders, remodelers, designers have to think outside the box. Basically don't rule anything out. So yes, there's a wide range of material options on the market, they told me, but they said, you should forget about them because your budget is small, you can't afford them. So you have to look for alternatives and be open to them. Which brings us to their second tip, which is to explore alternatives. Now the, cat the countertop category has other options on the market other than stone or quartz. These days you have paper-based com composites that can be fabricated with regular woodworking tools. You also have surfaces that are made from recycled or salvage, salvage ar ar agricultural materials, textile and forestry products. And you also have good old solid surfacing from the 70s and the 80s. What some companies have done is that they've packaged a limited amount of colors and they price these options lower than some of the other ones. So that's still a viable alternative. Their third tip is that you should not forget wood. Wood is the original solid surface as the manufacturers like to say. Now exotic woods such as mahogany, teak or walnut are pricey. But there are other species that can make for a beautiful and affordable island in the kitchen. So examples would be French oak, maple, or even acacia might make for an attractive top. And another option that has appeared in the last 10 or 15 years is bamboo. Now, wood requires some maintenance, more so than say granite or quartz or some of the other stones. And it should be used in a limited capacity around sinks or in particularly wet areas. But when specified correctly, it makes for an inexpensive and good looking countertop. Option four, concrete is still a good option. Now for a certain consumer, concrete is desirable. Now it is susceptible to staining from say wine or ketchup and it can be etched with from lemon juice or something. So it does require some treatment, but the material offers flexibility and a creative potential that other materials simply cannot provide. Plus concrete has gone high tech in the last 10 or 15 years. So in the old days, when you had to pour a heavy traditional concrete, you don't have to do that anymore. Now there are different mixtures and you can pour thinner material embedded with fiberglass or other decorative pieces uh, that offers strength. And you can even now spray it into molds as you would say when you're doing a pool, when you would actually use gunite and spray it into molds and then let it harden and then you form it. You can now create countertops with the same process. And the fifth tip is that if your clients must have stone, you still have some options, but you have to work harder to find solutions. Big box home improvement stores offer some options, but the options are usually limited and may not be the most attractive. 
So a stone yard is your best bet for finding affordable options for countertops, particularly if you're doing a bathroom. The advice is look for the remnants. Now, what are remnants you might be asking? Well, this is what Home Advisor had to say. Remnant granite is a term that refers to the leftovers stone manufacturers are left with after cutting slabs for large countertops, tiling, and other jobs. That being the case, this isn't a material that is suitable if you're looking for a huge, solid kitchen countertop. But if you're in the market for something smaller, granite leftovers can be a very cost-effective way to add class and a top-grade material to many common home improvement projects. Hopefully, these tips help you in your search for finding affordable, attractive countertops for your next project.